here's the thing about Clay Thompson. He is one of the best shooters to ever play in the NBA. And in fact, when you're talking about just the purity and efficiency of the shots themselves, he may be the best ever. And yet, not only is he not even remotely considered the best player of his era, he's not remotely considered the best player on his own team or the second best. He doesn't even get that Draymond thing of, no, he's not the best player, but maybe he's the most important. Instead, he's just clay. And it takes a very unusual cat to not only be okay with all those conditions, but to thrive under them. Fortunately for the Warriors, Clay is exactly that, different. And when he rained down those record 14 three-pointers against Chicago, he did it in the most Clay way possible, wearing a giant yellow headband to cover up a cut on his head, and quoting Jackie Moon from that Will Ferrell movie, <laughs> Semi Pro because of course he did. But just because now Headband Clay has joined China Clay and <laughs> Cutter Clay, along with Scaffolding Clay as the stuff of legend, don't let any of that fool you about how deadly this man is. Yes, Think about yes. this. You know how Clay scored his 52 points in just 27 minutes last night? That is more points per minute than Kobe when Kobe scored his 81. Imagine if Clay had a Kobe-like green light to play the whole game. Or how about this? Want to know how many dribbles Clay took on those 14 three-pointers he made? Nine dribbles. Come on, man. Nine times he dribbled. <laughs> Total. On. Last week against the Clippers, James Harden, James Harden took nine dribbles on just a single three-point <laughs> shot. And he is hardly the only one, by the way. I'm not singling him out. We see this in the oh, NBA man. all the time. No. Except with Clay, he did it in 14 three-point shots. Of course, it helped the Warriors were playing a Chicago team that, let's just say, is not advancing the sport of basketball with its defensive play. Remember when Jabari Parker signed a two-year, $40 million contract with the Bulls this past summer and announced that NBA players don't get paid to play defense? Mm, Last night it, it appeared the whole team agreed with him. Sure the Warriors would. were having such an easy time down the court that in the first quarter, we were all joking, has the NBA going to call this game at halftime? And then halftime came and the score was actually 92 to 50. I was wondering what Coach Fred Hoiberg could possibly be saying to his team in the locker room at the half. And after the game, legendary Chicago sports writer Sam Smith asked Hoiberg a similar question. What did you say to the team afterward, Fred? Well, we, uh, I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, Sam, we got our <laughs> kicked. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> the nice thing, since this wasn't actually a competitive basketball game, was that even the fans inside the United Center seemed to just simply focused on Clay and his quest to break the record. And because he had to come into that game pretty cold, you know, he was shooting like a fluky 14% on his threes for the first couple weeks of the season, pretty much everyone was rooting for him to rebound. Watch practically the entire Warriors bench come out on the floor when he hit just this one in the fourth quarter, in the first quarter. This, this was early in the game, it was just 15 to five. They're all rooting for him. By the second half, every player on the court is clearly feeding Clay, trying to help him break the record, and that includes Steph. Yeah, it was Steph's record Clay was trying to break, and yeah, it was Steph who helped him do it. Watch the final three that Clay hits. This is to break the record. The ball goes in, Clay raises his arms, and so does Steph. If you're looking at this freeze, you can't even tell it is. Hey, man, that was a charity game. We should really be celebrating here. <laughs> For real. These guys cannot believe the defense going on in this game. Maybe maybe they both did this right at the same time because of all the kumbaya stuff we always hear about this Warriors team, everyone around the campfire loving to support each other. Maybe it's also just because in that locker room, everyone loves Clay Thompson. Sometimes you don't have to be the best to be the favorite.